You know, Google Pixel 7 leaks have almost turned into reality TV episodes at this point. Because yes, now it turns out that someone ended up using a Pixel 7 Pro for a decent amount of time before actually noticing it. OnePlus is planning to launch one last smartphone this year, but it's not what everyone expected. And we have new details about the AirPods Pro 2, but I'm not sure I'm too excited. I'm Jaime Rivera, and seriously, next thing you know, Google will be having its own series on MTV, since there's no music there anymore. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with foldables, particularly with Samsung and the company's success with the Z Flip 3. Q1 of this year was the third best quarter for foldable smartphones with 2.2 million shipments. The DSSC claims that in total it saw 571% growth year over year. Samsung still keeps the crown by a wide margin as the Z Flip 3 alone accounted for 51% of foldable shipped. And on second place, you've got the Z Fold 3. Samsung alone controls 74% of the market, which is to be expected given how hard the company has pushed. That said, it is interesting to see what other companies like Huawei have uh, prepared for the future since their market share is actually rising at 20% for their quarter thanks to the P50 Pocket. Yes, notice how the best sellers are clamshells and something tells me it's not just because of the price tag. The SSC also reports that Samsung has big expectations for this year's Galaxy Flip 4 and Fold 4, so maybe we could see a more affordable price and as for the market in general, it's expected it to double to 16 million shipments in total by the end of the year. I mean, have you bought a foldable already or are you considering one? Let us know in the comments. Now, how about if we talk about Apple, because we have new details about the AirPods Pro 2. Uh, there were previous rumors saying that uh, these would have a stemless design, but according to new information, we should expect almost the exact same design of the OG AirPods Pro that I, I like. I know, not what we heard, but uh, for context, last year Mark Gurman reported that Apple was aiming to make an even more compact version by eliminating the stem and that they were even testing a design with a more rounded shape that fills more of the user's ear, but that was reportedly scrapped due to production problems. We can also expect the new Pros to be launched with the same skin detect sensors as the AirPods 3 in each earbud instead of the current use of the dual optical sensor for the AirPods Pro. Uh, then we got Quo saying that the new models will also feature a charging case that users can trigger a sound from to highlight its location, allowing the earbuds and the case to be located separately. And to wrap it up, AirPods Pro 2 are also rumored to feature support for Apple's lossless audio via a new connection solution, which does have me really intrigued as I have no idea how they plan to connect true wireless earbuds to cable, but I mean, let's see what we get. Let's move on to OnePlus and a big disappointment for everyone who was waiting for an Ultra variant for the 10 Pro. Yes, they announced the 10 Pro and then they took forever to release it internationally and naturally while we waited we started hearing about the possibility of other variants. The Ultra model was supposed to bring an upgraded camera with more zoom and other perks but it looks like it might not happen after all. According to a new leak from Max Jambor, the Ultra may not end up launching after all. Apparently the game plan would be to bring back the T model after its hiatus which is kind of weird given the chip shortage. Obviously the biggest scramble now is what we'll be getting here as the last T was not as good as the Pro if you remember. It could be safe to assume it's using Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset as OnePlus already confirmed they're working on a new phone with this chip. Charging speeds may also see an increase from 80 watt speeds uh, on the 10 Pro to 150 but uh, we're just gonna have to wait for more leaks. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Google and their upcoming Pixel 7 series. I mean, at this point, it looks almost like if the Pixel leaks have become this like reality TV version of funny stuff in mobile. For example, we discussed yesterday how eBay listings popped up of uh, someone selling a prototype of the Pixel 7, which was also posted on Facebook's marketplace, though we all know that these were taken down quickly. What a surprise. Well, it gets funnier. In a non-surprising turn of events, someone 
everyone claims to have used the unreleased Pixel 7 Pro for three weeks without noticing that it wasn't a Pixel 6 Pro. I know, it sounds like a joke, but there are pictures to prove it. Let me give you some context. Someone in the Pixel subreddit revealed that they purchased their device from a Facebook Marketplace listing there where the device was described as a Pixel 6 Pro. Apparently, he was able to use the phone normally for three weeks until the news of the lost prototypes were reported. According to the Redditor, the prototype was remotely wiped by Google and made unusable by sending him directly to Android's fast boot recovery menu every time they tried to turn on the phone. And the guy even attached some photos where you can clearly see this isn't a Pixel 6 Pro. It even has a modified G logo that you only get on leaked prototypes. Oh, and apparently the code name for this phone is Cheetah, but I don't think the code name is even relevant anymore. Anyways, for today's question, let us know, I mean, do these Pixel 7 leaks entice you to buy one? Because if Pixel 6 sales are any indication, you could say they made the phone more popular, but I'd also argue that it has to do with the aggressive pricing. That being said, this Pixel 6 series has been the best-selling Pixel ever, so I'm just hoping that it somehow helps the 7, but I'm really curious to know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me uh, seriously debate why MTV has no music anymore. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.